incredible weekend of sports we've had. The international soccer season may have concluded, but the action on our school sports fields just refuses to let up. Let's take a look at some of the major results. In the Western Cape, the Bulant was the venue for one of the matches of the season, as Bulant Lanpo caused a huge upset by defeating Polrus Gymnasium 18-19. In the Eastern Cape, Queen's College bounced back in grand fashion when they defeated Kingswood 40 points to 21, while St Andrews College came from lagging behind Muir College with a score of 26-24 to win the match 55-26. In the Zulu Kingdom, Clifton College won out over George Campbell School of Technology in another shock defeat. 17-10 was the final score there. And Northwood's defensive team was in the limelight as they defeated Pine Town 50 points to nil. Lastly, in Gauteng, St. Stidians went down to the visiting Kersney 62-0. And Pretoria Boys High defeated St. Benedict's in a tightly contested match with a final score of 39-31 to the men from Pretoria but in our biggest matches of the weekend. Glenwood would take on Archbow's Durban High School on Saturday. Glenwood scored three tries in the first half, two DHS's single. Captain Mzwandile Mazibuko and Spamandla Nkobo proved the chief tormentors in a rampant display by Glenwood. The second half was much of the same, with DHS's defense conceding a further three tries and failing to score one of their own. The six tries from Glenwood would be enough as they finished as the victors in this encounter. 46-14 the final score. Glenwood stretched their winning streak to six games with this victory, having lost just a game at the beginning of April to the almighty Paul Hum. In the battle over at Bosch, Ronda Bosch boys high and Sachs went all out in another one of the nation's oldest rugby duels. The boys from Newlands were the first to strike through winger Aidan Deary, who scored a try right in the corner. Both sides would exchange penalties before heading into the change rooms with Sachs leading 10-6 and the Rondies lads reeling. But in the second half, we were treated to a Bosch blitz as the home side scored two tries in two minutes to leave the Sachs faithful speechless. Sachs's Shane Faree got them back in contention with a try, taking the score to 2018. But that would just serve to spur the home side on even more as they went on to score another unanswered 21 points and finish the match the victors. 41-18 our final score. And finally, in the Eastern Cape, it was the rumble at reunion when Dell College welcomed Selborne College to their grounds. Dell College were fired up and confident of a victory here. We very well confident. Uh, um, there is no other option. We have to win this one. It's our reunion. It's all or nothing. The big side, you know, although we're a small side, we're a small side with a big heart, you know, so we're going to take them on anyway. Um, we'll just play our okay. game, not focus too much on them, you know, and aim to dominate them. With Dale College looking to extend their wins over Selborne to 100, the hosts got off to the right start, converting an early penalty before Selborne hit back with two of their own to lead the score at 6-3. To the Dalians' horror, the visitors managed to score the first try of the match, taking their lead to 10 points, 13-3 the score. The spectators and players were staring down the barrel of one of their most humiliating reunion days to date, as Selborne had only lost one match in all age groups of the rugby and hockey that day. Using this information as inspiration, the boys in red and black started their comeback and would score two unanswered tries to see the scores tip in the favour of the home team. 17-13 to the Dalians. With only the second victory in the rugby fixtures on the cards for Dell, everyone believed they could do it. That belief would be short-lived, though, as Selborne scored a converted try to make the score 2017. The home side answered in the most spectacular fashion with one of the tries of the season, 22-20. With only minutes remaining on the clock, the visitors would break every single Dalian's heart and score the fifth and final try of the encounter. The boys from East London held out for a memorable victory, their 64th in 186 clashes between the sides. Just simple, basic, sticking to our structures, having fun out there, and that won us the game. The ball bounced, the ball bounced our way today, and it just went our way. This is what we live for. Glories like this are what we live for. All the hard golf is worth it in the end. Dale's Ayatanda Tenjiwe was gutted at the loss. Uh, Made too many mistakes out there, you know, and they kept on us on our mistakes, you know. That's all I can say right now.
obviously everyone is disappointed, you know. We really we needed this game badly, you know. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull it off. We have a lot of character. We've been through the situations, and I think we will come back from this. Don't worry, Ayatandwa, you can keep your head held high. Like all of our rugby players this weekend, what an incredible weekend of youth sports. Expresso Youth Sport, brought to you by Deep Heat. Warms pain away.